Spirit of God Feel at home in me Oh, you firm that I love you And I will love you forever It is supposed to be a teaching with demonstration of course power evangelism that is one thing that we make the ministry your own ministry to succeed and that's what we take system above every other don't quench it completely because you are injuring some angels power evangelism power evangelism power evangelism it is evangelism that is backed up with demonstration of the power of God. When evangelism is backed up, when your own evangelism has a backup, backed up by the power of God, when it can be demonstrated, it can be proved with testimony, we call it power evangelism. The preaching with miraculous effects and evidence. That is past power evangelism. When you are preaching goes with miraculous effects. When you preach not just ordinary letter that kill it, but you preach life through the ministration of the word. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper. When the life in the world is released into action, that's power evangelism. It will never come back for it. And right now, you will see what God says. Brother Paul said, We have not come to preach the enticing words of men. We have not come here for it. Brother Paul said, the kind of gospel he preached now is Christ and him crucified. Look at verse 4. I'm talking of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Look at verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Look at verse 4. He said, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. No, it's not. But in demonstration of the spirit and of the power. When the preaching and the speech goes with demonstration of the spirit and power that will silence the sayers, we call it power evangelism. Jesus was spoken against by the traditioners and by those that know him too well. Even the man that baptized him at a time began to doubt him. But he said, the solution to all this, go and tell them, go and tell them that the dead is coming to life and that even the sick is made healed and the crippled are being healed and the hopeless is getting hope by the preaching of the gospel. And to him that believeth. He answered by demonstration, evidence of the demonstration, evidence. Faith without evidence is questionable. Every man's faith is known by the exhibition and evidence, testimony that he produced. That tells us you have faith. It is in the coin challenges come. Look at the book of Hebrews chapter 11. You see men of the old of great faith. See how every one of them came with an evidence. A show that they practice faith. That your challenge will be the same reason. When your faith will be proved. It shall end with an evidence. That you are also numbered among the men of faith and women of faith. Shout hallelujah. Your name will be there. The reason why all the challenges, the reason why all the attack is to make you a part of 
the chronicle of that book of Hebrews chapter 11 your name should be there men of faith men of faith even those who raised their children from dead and refused to bury them men of faith a woman's child died woman child died and instead of carrying the child and going to bury he carried and go and put the baby in the man of God's table, bed because she believed that this child will come back life hallelujah such a man of faith why should the devil you know stop only go and kill that child and i asked him why should the devil stop only come and attack you it's for you to respond and prove yourself you are a believer as well i hear recently of another young woman very serious in faith very serious in faith very serious in the work of god very serious in the work we are preparing for nine vg I was preparing for nine vg and satan went and killed the baby he has the little baby he has he wanted the lady to cry and of course naturally she should be crying she should make a noise a great noise that people around with hey, something has happened but when he discovered that baby has died to make sure that her own name will appear in the book of hebrew 11 she took the baby placed the baby on the bed and said sleep i cannot afford to be absent in tonight vigil and she left the baby on the bed and went for vigil letter 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 in the middle of the night coming to becoming morning the baby woke up why they were praying in the church it was as if peter was in the prison the prayer was being done on his behalf in the church she was in the church only her knew that her baby was dead and that was her prayer point when impossibilities are becoming possible as they pray she was mentioning the name of her own baby calling her baby by a name as if she was alive and suddenly the baby woke up and began to cry mama 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 she cried and cried and cried and when we looked around and couldn't see the mud she cried the more and when the cry was too much the neighbors went and began to knock at the door mother wake up now mother wake up and when they could not hear any except the cry they believed that the woman may have had problem so they broke the door only to see the baby alone in the house and they said what is what what's wrong and the neighbor said yeah today is your night vigil madame will have gone to night vigil why did he leave the child alone and gone to night vigil and the whole yard people carried this baby with anger and went to the church because they know where the church was and when they entered it was almost becoming morning they told the pastor they are making noise the pastor had to come on what's wrong what's wrong he said pastor this church is the worst church we have ever seen the most wicked church in the world is that what they are teaching your people that this woman has to keep the baby sleeping and left the baby and went to Naivijia and the baby woke up and has been calling the mother since midnight they have been crying they even had to break the door discover that the mother was not there and the pastor said ah could that be so he called the woman come and the woman came and saw the baby and the baby said mama 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 the woman said the woman began to dance and shout and go they said, they said look at her look at her look at her he's dancing he's jumping and the woman said let me tell you pastor what happened my baby died 
I prayed and prayed no way. My baby died. I tried and cried no way. I said, but I've made up my mind to attend this night vigil. And I don't want to embarrass anybody. So I have to keep the baby and go to prayers. They said, eh? My baby died. And the whole church went into Jubilee and rejoicing. That woman's name will appear in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 at the end. She had joined, though she had. God wants you to join. God wants you to join. They want to hear your testimony. Kedifi Mere, if you will be exalted and blessed with all the stars. Praise God. In this our own generation, I'm not talking of the Bible time. No, no, no. I have practical evidence to tell you that the name Jesus is real. Even if there is no Bible written, even if you don't believe in the Bible, I don't even need the Bible to prove to you. I have practical testimony that I am so sure there is a man called Jesus whose name is a miracle wonder. From time to time, he proves himself a living God. Even right now. Even right now. That's the power evangelism we are talking about. Preaching the gospel with power demonstrations. And I want to say that this is the secret of mass conversion. I have read, had time to read testimony, I mean Acts of Apostles and all the gospel come to discover that the preaching of the gospel with demonstration is a secret for mass conversion and for a great success if any man want to succeed in his evangelism he must come with power evangelism it's not just the the evangelism will trick somebody into the kingdom of god the one you use trick 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 enticing words and okay, come to our own church our members are many come to our own church we eat right when you come come to our own church when you come in fact there is flower when you come there there is airplane and go. those things that you use enticing things enticing things if you come we give you chop chop if you come we give you and you entice them enticing words it will not last you garbage them in and garbage them out but by preaching the preaching we are talking about power evangelism it doesn't go into entertainment it's not by entertainment it is the preaching of the cross christ crucified shout hallelujah and this is the picture of the freedom hour we're talking about no man can preach it except he's empowered no man is a, can preach it in the book of Luke chapter 9 the apostles preached it demonstrated it because power was given to them look at it chapter 9 I'm talking of Luke in verse 1 and 2 and then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick that's the meaning of power evangelism he called them he didn't just call them and say go and preach I wonder my Jehovah I wonder my Jehovah no it's not that kind of preaching it's not that kind of preaching the Bible says he called them and gave them what? Power. Power. Power and authority. That's the difference between Jesus' kind of preaching and that of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Religion has been existing long, long before. But I want to tell you the preaching of Jesus is unique. You ask me what made me to leave Block Rosary and joined the Bible people will ask me 
he asked me what made me to leave the sacramentals and the Mary leagues and to join the gospel preaching you asked me what actually made me to leave the ceremonials and join the charismatics it is when I see the difference between just church membership Pharisees type of preaching and compare with Jesus kind this man Jesus he preaches with authority and power see what, he, hey, what kind of man is this that even the wind obeys him that's a big difference he gave them power I want to ask you have you received such power he gave them authority beloved have you received that authority over the devils to kill diseases the preaching with healing with cure with deliverance is what we call the power gospel power evangelism then in verse 2 he now sent them to preach the kingdom he gave them power first before he asked them to go and preach without power that is they will just go and says that's how it is that's how it is world without end oh my god tonight we are going to move to the level of power evangelism power evangelism the book of acts of apostles chapter 8 demonstrated it concerning a man philip 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 practically demonstrated it initially people were thinking that preach with philip is not among those who can preach wonder message so he was numbered among the deacons to take care of sharing of the food and go but when the power came upon him he became an evangelist he became an evangelist nobody could stop him nobody could stop him the bible says in verse 5 i'm talking of acts of apostles chapter 8 in verse 5 then philip went down to the city of samaria and preached christ whom christ whom christ he preached christ he didn't preach denomination he didn't preach sacramental he didn't preach uh, uh, you know uh, tradition and doctrines and dogmas of the church he didn't preach that he preached christ christ preaching christ preaching the cross he preached he went to samaria samaria was a place that nobody would like to go samaria samaria even jesus never entered into samaria he, he had to start stay at the corner at the very junction and then a samarian woman had to appear he couldn't enter in fact he told the disciples initially no, they should not go there they should not go there but philip when he got the baptism of power he went to samaria single-handedly hallelujah and preached christ look at it he preached christ and verse 6 says and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which philip spake hearing and seeing the miracles and seeing the miracles which he did miracle can never be hidden <laughs> can never be hidden when a barren woman becomes pregnant it can be hidden for some months but eventually will not be hidden your miracle shall never be hidden that's why it's called miracle when a poor man becomes rich it cannot be hidden it cannot be some people say are you sure if this man said the man said i am the man i used to be poor but now i can see it is the power gospel it is the power evangelism gospel that will produce such type of thing let us not just think that we have done our best when we preach ordinary preaching and without the demonstration of the thing we preach you have to demonstrate what you preach 
today we have come to the platform to the elevation where when we preach it will manifest i didn't hear you i say it will manifest it will manifest the blind man said yes i was born blind but the matter i don't know now i can see he went to the parents and said is he your son he said my son he was born blind but the way he's seeing now we don't even know how to explain it god asked him and the man said it is jesus everybody shout jesus no stand up and shout jesus say it again jesus they try to corner him they try to persuade him they try to say what did you even say how then you are you sure you are blind and where are you crippled where are you blind he said i was born blind though and it is this jesus that anointed my eyes and now i can see if jesus can do that he can do it change it not change it power evangelism from today we shall denounce all kind of religion and preaching of the gospel without the power demonstration we shall denounce them for that is a form of religion denying the power thereof the preaching and the demonstration the power gospel will give you audacity to raise the dead to cure sicknesses forget what the devil is telling you that you are not able you cannot do it by your own power but if you recognize there is somebody inside you greater than what is outside you that you are living by the power that is inside you if you are believing that that there is greater one that is in you then the power of that man that dwelleth inside you can do the impossibility even the thing you cannot do by yourself that power can do it by the way why are you still alive till now if not that same power that is keeping you it's keeping you for a purpose the lord will want this same to go into miracles are you hearing me it is by this that population by this that great success by this that great multiplicity by this that great growth shall come forward the acts of apostles chapter 6 where we read it was by the delegations and assignment to the deacons and co but peter said we shall give ourselves to prayer and to evangelism prayer and preaching the word prayer we shall give ourselves because this power evangelism is actually evangelism with source of prayer with stronghold of prayer and jesus said bury you here you will be endued with power from on high and as they tarried not one day not as they continued to tarry they became transformed and they could do all things they didn't stop there peter and john made it the principle they always going to pray at the hour of prayer I said, what were they praying again? They have already received the baptism. What were they praying again? What were they praying? They have already gotten something. What were they praying again? They were already Christians. What were they praying again? They constantly continue to pray. They have never done miracles of this kind before, except in the time with Jesus. But now, they continue to pray. Until one day, they discover that their prayer has affected them. They could see a man born crippled and they said silver and gold we have none but that which we have i give unto you in the name of jesus it must be at the name of jesus it must be that jesus that same jesus rise up and walk and the crippled man was thinking it was a joke but because Peter was so persuaded, John was persuaded that this thing I said is real. The devil wanted him to doubt. When you command a crippled man to stand up and the crippled man still remain adamant and more crippled to self, is it not to discourage you? 
that this man believed in having confidence because he believed shout hallelujah he raised put hand he said what are you doing now you already creep with me raised up why are you still behaving as if you are crippled the prison yard is open why are you still inside and he, with anger he raised him up threw him up of course when you throw a crippled man who is who is really a crippled man he will hit the ground and die more he will hit the ground but because this man of god was sure that the crippleness has gone he threw him up and for the first time the man landed with his leg he had never done it before but you will begin to do what you have never done before it will begin to work for you what has never been working right now will work the power is already released when you go begin to perform and behave because it is already done don't go and continue to remain crippled and remember in crippled and be waiting when angel is no 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 you are healed begin to behave as one that's healed is there any crippled man here that have never walked before is there any person having dislocation afflicted in any way consider it gone and begin to behave that is faith behave as if it is gone and it is gone Go to that place that place you have been afraid of because it is gone and all the people that are seeking for your life the bible said they are dead they are no more. no more so fear no more brethren i don't feel like preaching i don't feel like preaching i just don't feel like preaching the lord is telling me that that i people here who still think that the problem is still there but I should tell them that problem has gone yeah. problem has gone don't look for it again it has gone don't call it back again it has gone you can prove it by doing the otherwise doing what we are not able to do before you have made application somebody here made application you have forgotten it because you feel it's a failure go back now check it those people that told you no vacants go back go back go back for where there was nothing there shall be something let me hear you say better amen the bible said in that acts of apostles chapter seven or rather chapter six Two major things. Chapter 6. Look at verse 4. That we will give ourselves continually. Not only holy, continually. The brother preached holy, but also continually. We give ourselves to prayers and to the ministry of the world, evangelism. If you see any man that have given himself wholly and continuously with prayers and preaching, prayers, oh, you will, that's, you will see the evidence of power evangelism. Amen. This is what we have in mind when we call Freedom Hour, Freedom Hour, CCM Freedom Hour program. It is power evangelism, like a dragnet, whereby the unbeliever shall be dragged and come to see the demonstration of power. Freedom hour, freedom hour. A time when Jesus will set the captive free. A time when we invite relations and friends. That time is a time of demonstration with testimony. Brethren, I will give you, because of time, this is like a teaching now administration is already taking place but i just want to give you the outline the outline of 12 steps to achieving power evangelism 
12 steps you will write it down because i won't give you a handout write it down 12 steps if anybody want to organize what we call power evangelism follow this 12 step if you want to see your evangelism become to power evangelism it's not the, the, the evangelism that will not produce any fruit somebody said i know they will not believe i'm just giving it so that god will not condemn me let their blood not be in my hand that's why i'm doing evangelism so he's not doing it to convert somebody he's just to say uh, to fulfill all righteousness that is not power evangelism power evangelism is going with an assurance that no matter how much is a sinner and unbelief he will come back to believe when he will see what he will see power evangelism there are 12 steps to it 12 steps step number one effectual fervent prayer meeting any church that want to organize power evangelism in the name of freedom hour freedom hour a special day set aside as freedom hour first thing that we do is to set out prayer meeting effectual fervent prayer meeting set apart a prayer meeting where you yourself the key organizer you will spend time to pray have a prayer meeting i don't mean but i don't mean entertainment meeting prayer meeting pray until you begin to see signs pray continually until you begin to see signs as elijah did he prayed sent the servant he said i saw nothing he prayed prayed until he will come and say do you know that place i saw nothing i can now see something there now pray pray until like peter and john prayed with fasting and prayer they were not used to doing such miracles the only thing they did at the day of Pentecost was to speak in tongues and that's all but after some time of continuous prayers Peter and John could raise the cripples shout hallelujah that's step one step two it must be the preaching of Christ and him crucified preaching nothing else except Christ and him crucified at times because of situation in the country or situation in the church you see somebody who are prepared to preach Christ they will come and begin to preach politics you see them they will stop they will they are prepared to come and preach Christ but because of the wahalas everywhere they will come to pulpit and begin to preach politics and preach wahalas and go no you can't conquer wahala with wahala you can't conquer problem with problem preach christ and him crucified is a light that conquers darkness anywhere anytime preach him don't preach dogma preach him don't preach doc uh, uh, you know doctrines of the fables preach christ and him crucified if you are looking for power evangelism demonstration of power preach christ shout hallelujah when it's time for discipline when it's the time to removing the doctrine when it's time to you can do that that one is in the counseling level and in the in the revolution i mean a, a, a expository level but if it is power evangelism preach christ every other thing shall be taken care of shout amen number three because of time the number three step is constant scriptural meditation building yourself up in the holy faith and then nothing shall be impossible are you writing it down constant scriptural meditation 
if you see any man that will tomorrow become a man of power miraculous preaching is a man that spent time rising up very very early spent time meditating on the scriptures and the more he meditated the more himself is transformed to see the invisibles i'm trying to make you now be a miracle worker this step what you are going to follow if any man follows this step he become also a miracle worker the gift inside him will begin to manifest constant scriptural meditation and building up not gathering message where you can use like argue and preach no but this constant meditation working inside you and building up your faith point number four avoiding anything that defileth if you see any man that would want to be used in the power evangelism is a man that will avoid everything defilement anything that will grieve the spirit you will avoid it do all your best to avoid it why because you want to be an instrument of power evangelism and then always examine yourself in sincere repentance we are necessary as you meditate examine yourself first of all check their eyes and see whether there are locks of loads and wood, wood and, and wood in your eyes block them out a man who doesn't meditate we never know he yeah, will never see his mistakes it is in a meditation room after you have prayed and prayed and prayed and begin to meditate scripturally that god will begin to show you certain things and then you say hey, whoa, i am a man of unclean lips i repent i'm undone no preacher we see his own mistake no preacher we see his own arrogance no, no preacher we see his own uncleanness until he humbles himself into meditation scripturally and god will show him and then he will begin to avoid such things that defile it repenting of all at point number five adopting one or two intimate prayer minister that is what i call met ministration met or colleague don't just be a lonely man don't be a lonely man you must have a partner administration partner like Paul and Barnabas Paul would have been discouraged unto death despite the encounter he had but Barnabas went and located him and made him a ministration partner God separated Paul and Barnabas for the gospel's sake two of them were all together they were encouraging one another you must get a very good partner in the work of evangelism jesus had to send them one two by two two by two and paul and silas also paul and silas you need it you need it shadrach mishad abadnego they were together and that was why none of them could deny the faith none of them they were all thrown into the fire because they they were together they encouraged one another you just need to have a partner one two three people so that you'll be in a unit ministration you not gossip unit not a place of deceiving yourself or immoral unit but a unit that is set aside for preaching for gospel for prayers and that was how daniel conquered the mystery babylon because when it was announced that the enemy was after their life he went and informed his prayer partners shedrach mishad and abadnego 
and the thing the enemy intended to be their destruction turned to be for their promotion shout a better amen, amen. point number six imbibing the spirit of compassion for the needy I've discovered that every miraculous man of God had there's one thing common to them all compassion 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 it is the compassion that motivates them even Christ Jesus it was compassion that made him do a lot of miracles he saw all of them crying and dying as one that have no shepherd and that was what dragged Jesus into you know into going extra mile to do miracles to heal them even those who are not qualified for his miracles got the miracles out of compassion must you kill your enemy can't you show him mercy a man you know that's already dying why do you help him to die first have compassion say father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing compassion that's the heart of a miraculous worker and that's why we don't have many of them we don't have many of them compassion compassion to those whom you think don't even merit it point number seven hunger and praying for the will of God to be done and his kingdom to come when a man is possessed with the hunger to see the will of God done not my will but thy will to see the kingdom of God come to pass when your prayer and preaching is based on this you are a man of miracle if it is for the sake of the kingdom that his will be done here on earth if that is their motive for the preaching and God Holy Ghost will confirm it Amen Holy Ghost will do it if when your heart is searched and it is discovered that the purpose of your administration purpose of this your prayer and fasting is not just for your self-centeredness not for your selfishness not for your ego not for your money not for you to get something for yourself but for God's will to be done and for his kingdom if, if the Holy Ghost discovered that this is your motivating factor sure he will show you miracles point number eight you need to provide a convenient place convenient place a location convenient location that will be easy for people to come it is when they come they will now see the miracles but if your location is not awkward place and the venue is also awkward and the discomfort is much ah people will not even come and even if they come their mind is not there that is why for freedom hour indeed we find a very convenient place where people will come convenient place if your church is not convenient find a hall possibly find a neutral place where people can come even catholic can come when you have your freedom hour in a place that is denominationally biased people will not go there people will not go there they say oh you fed their church what's their church but when you pick a venue that is accessible to everybody including the typical roman catholic can come there freely come there that was why when we started the freedom hour we are using a place called uh, the university hall a suit education hall and everybody could come even the governor of enugu state came uninvitedly he came you know he was not going to it these people are not just calling me to be the member of their church so everybody felt free catholics were coming everybody 
But when you put freedom in your church, they say it's, they are doing it for themselves. Even your members may not completely come. Let Freedom Hour be done as an outreach program if it is for evangelism. Let's find a venue that is free that everybody can comfortably come. But in the heart of our hearts, we know where we are taking them. The greatest Freedom Hour of this year shall be done in the month of November. The month of November. And that's the reason for this conference. The purpose of this conference is for us to sit down and plan for that convention, that crusade. It's going to be a national crusade. We will not make them to know that we want to make them see some member. No. We simply want to prove the power of God. And those who test the power in the days of his power shall be willing. And they will join. That's why where I'm going to pick the place they call uh, Nandazik US Stadium. Well located. It's not like where we used to have our convention, Queens, that is separated far from them people. But this one is a center of the town. It's an, a place that everybody is free to come. We hit the program there one day, two days. By the time their eyes open, we tell them that the last day will be done at the Freedom Arena. And that's the system center that we have just officially dedicated today. And when they come, definitely they will come because they have tested it. Our purpose of gathering this conference is to ensure that we have enough force work. Workforce rather. And we're going to plan it and everybody is going to be a part of it. All CCM workers will be the hosts. And all CCM members we be a part of the work advert prayers so in few minutes time now every one of us will know his own duty to make that crusade a wonderland that the crusade with which will end the year though it's being organized here in Enugu but the effect will be the nationwide that's why it's called national we expect you preparing for vehicles that will bring even the unbeliever and relations and friends who are not CCM. And mercy of God will locate us and locate our people. Amen. That's the purpose. That freedom crusade will settle all matters. And God will comfort Zion by it. Shout amen. amen. Convenient venue. Point number nine. We have to publicize it and advertise it. As for this one we heard now, there was no publicity. There was no handbill. There was no advert. But just to inform you. Because it's not crusade of come one come all. In fact, in the proper sense, it is restricted. A program like this, there are some of you who are here who ought not to be here. But because we know the reason why we are planning for this program, we allowed anybody to come. But that of November, everybody must come. Because the crusade will not be brought to your house easily money will be spent going into cable going into television going into advance be bought and i expect that every ccm region uh, district will mount a be board at least in the entrance to their city 
every will mount it that it will be speaking everywhere the whole nation worldwide is a dragnet that will bring people that's the freedom hour and i'm sure the stadium will accommodate praise the lord going to publicize it advertise it spend money in advance the advert is special when it goes with testimony problem of system that they are not good in testimony we are there not 10 lepers cured only one came to give testimony let's educate our people how to give testimony now one testimony can do much more than what all of us can do one real testimony don't hide their testimony because they are not helping the work at all let's know what god has done even in this program now god i have blessed you touched you somewhere and you are hiding it if you hide their testimony is is you are giving the devil a ground to whisper into your ears that this thing may not be real if you are testimony at the end of a program even in our local fellowship let there be room One woman, only one woman of Samaria was able to compare the whole city. And they were able to leave their city and came down out, out, out to the gates. Because she went and told her testimony. You may not know how to preach. Even a newcomer may not know how to preach, but testimony. I met my first convert, my first convert, who is the general of Asia now, and the whole family boiling with gospel he was the president of the catholic i mean the yes the catholic in the campus that time president how did i convert him few days after my conversion i converted him he knew me very very well what would i know how to preach but it was with my testimony i gave him my testimony yes, he couldn't believe it and he followed me to the fellowship testimony today he is a great man of god testimony the woman said come and see a man i've told me all i am thank you jesus Point number 10, there are 12 of them. The whole church should also be motivated into prayer, the whole church. If we are going to carry out such kind of program that must be mapped out, the whole church will constantly pray. The whole partners shall be teamed up into a prayer squad not just few people who said i'm prayer warrior the whole church should if you see a church that is fast growing by the true power then there are people who are constantly and continuously holy praying and that is from now system shall be known as a praying church let people pray for program pray for conference pray don't just come and watch as if you are preparing to come and watch the man to perform now let me tell you clearly there are two ways you can do power program there are two ways because there are two kinds of power one is the negative power and most of the adoration programs you hear here and there you see crowd someone was telling me the one happening at Onisha now and happening in places and go see crowds and go perhaps there may not be real genuine effectual fervent prayer of a righteous there may not, there may not even be righteous 
and yet you see miracles happening it's born of power it's born of power but when you test that power very well you will know that it is not the Holy Spirit power amen that's why the man can still be doing power miracle and living anyhow that's why the man can still be doing power miracle and is not even born again that's how the man can still be doing power miracle and he doesn't even believe in the Bible he's not preaching the cross he may just be preaching Mariology. He may just be preaching catechism. He may just be preaching sacramental. And yet you see miracle happening. Some 30 years ago, I gathered some Pentecostals. It was in the days of Father Ede, when Father Ede was running. I was telling them, that because Catholic is the head of courtism, the Pentecostal will soon be surprised what the Catholic will do. Because if the Pentecostal at that time, Pentecostal and the that they have miracle, they have miracle, said miracle. And go. I said, any day we Catholics we wake up with go into our Ojoro and get the stir it up and come out with our evolution type of miracle it will be surprise we can even do the mirage kind of miracle apparition that is our last card apparition apparition miracle can happen when we discover that don't worry you will see very soon what will happen you see all these people trying to kill our reverend father reverend father apparition will appear in their ground are you seeing it all these people who try to because they are mumu they don't know who born them islam does not know that it's a brainchild of catholic those people who are going about killing our reverend father they don't know that catholic is the mother babylon they don't know because they are illiterate because the secret was hidden from them the ayatollahs who are the learned one had kept quiet the jesuit have also hidden it but if they kill the reverend father more who will appear nobody of fatima now 1917 when we come with it we appear in their domain even the fatima fatima even the fatima they will accept us we have the last card as catholics called apparition by the time we appear they will confess all of them that kill our reverend father will confess and man we won't try it again so i was telling the pentecostals that if they use miracle to draw catholic and go as that 30 years ago i was telling them that they will know that catholic is the head of court and we will bring all kinds of miracles today Father Mbaka is raining Father Mbaka is raining in fact if you go to store even some Pentecostal wedding you go there and see record of Father Mbaka Ojoro there are two kinds of miracles either from Ojoro powers that one you doesn't need to follow this guideline you don't need this guideline you just do manipulations and go enter into the stream into the ocean do some certain things manipulate people and miracle will be happening church will full up many Pentecostal pastors are getting into it prophesy prophesy you want me to prophesy shall I prophesy 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 But if we want the real power, we have to follow these rules. We have to follow this rule I'm giving you. 
there's no shortcut to it all the church and the partners should get into real fasting and prayers and they will ask God set forth you are high that by the preaching of the apostles the signs and wonders shall be done in the name of thy son and after they have prayed the place where they were praying were shaking and when they went to preach they are doing miracles everywhere with boldness how many of us are praying for the general of us here? many of us are praying for the general of us here as if all depends on your prayer not sacramental prayers uh, if these numbers can bow themselves into seeking the face of God and holding God and say God behold they are threatening behold they are threatening behold they are threatening so many years ago almost five years ago somebody that never knew me from afar is not in any he said he was passing through Enugu. He saw a sticker. He saw. He said this poster. This poster. This man is like the man that was shown to me in a revelation. He get close and got my number and called me. He said he was excited, but at the end of the testimony, he told me that there will be a problem, a problem that he never knew it. He said there will be a problem. I said. He said he saw the matter ended with a very complex problem that even all your members could not help out they were all weary and sleeping it reached to the point that angels in heaven came and were interceding for you angels came down and were with wings they were interceding for you you were alone I said no it can't be it's not me my people are praying for me they love me but i'm beginning to think could this be true could it be that you are not really praying for me could it be that you are not earnestly sincerely weeping and crying for me you are listening to what at times i laugh at people because it's only God and myself knows the deep things and the <coughs> conspiracies in the secret world but that person ended up with a testimony he says at the end you overcame overcame the devil will do everything to make you find a reason why you will not embarrass it for me one particular sister told me that why he was coming to pray because of a prayer he was attacked the devil will like to hinder you attack you make you angry what he's just saying is that so that he will discourage you so that you will not pray the way you will pray you are not the target i am the target let's see some um, pray for their vision bearers they haven't seen anything though and they're shaking i have not started i have not started they haven't seen me some of you who think i'm getting old i'm beginning you know that's why at times i i pity some people i i am seeing i am growing younger every day i am about to start by the time i start you know you see all the things we have been doing is practice all that we have been doing all along is practice we have just been doing training the very soon the real thing will begin it will soon be the time for system let's end up this wilderness experience soon and then we shall start i'm not old i am younger than i was i'm sure of that go ahead and be strong god has told me that i will be among the end time i mean i have the correct information i have the agenda and god revealed it to me i will handle the end time battle i'll handle it 
point number 11 it is also important to involve media and broadcasts radio television program that is actually where freedom hour is targeting that even if we stay in a small hall like this and preach the gospel by the amplification of the media the thing will reach to the uttermost world system is not known yet in the whole world because we are not yet in the cable we have not yet gotten international televisions and go but that's what we are going to launch now we're going into cables when we begin when freedom hour goes into international you don't need to go from house to house the television they have is our presence in their house and once they tune to it at such and so time they will get freedom hour they get born again they are form system they are the people who will write to us and said we have even formed ccm you see catholics that will form ccm you see legion of mary that will get converted and form ccm and they will write to us we will simply send a pastor to go and pastor them praise the lord that is the frequency we are entering into right now point number 12 faithful counselors and faith clinic ministers very important you see eh? even all of us here may not be enough to do the counseling that will happen in this november crusade that is why collins was saying the other day that when you don't have the capacity god will not give you multitude if we don't have the capacity of counselors we don't have capacity that we handle the souls one by one we have not built up our capacity oh my god you don't have the capacity then how will god give us thousands we have to build up our capacity in counseling we need to have at least 500 counselors that maybe the preacher will not preach for one hour and make other calls and see crowd will come and we'll be able to take them in twos one by one and cancel them and ensure every soul that is our problem and this is how queer we have to start we have to organize ourselves everybody we belong to the counseling group and faith clinic because as you cancel you may meet a case and you handle it this is a follow-up program the crusade is not like a conference in the case of conference the moment we share the grace everybody will go already the vehicle is parked waiting for us for those traveling afar but in the case of crusade it's not like that it is the time we share the grace that our work will start counseling will start follow up will start and so people will be kept in bash these people will help for the counseling and do the follow up for this week next week these other people so for the rest of the year counseling will be taking place amen we must be prepared to pay the price if i'm not ready to pay the price for power evangelism there'll be no need brethren i want to stop here because of time i want to believe that we have come to a point by all we have had and the training we have received i think i can say we can move to the next level we are prepared for it i have confidence in you i am trusting you that with you and myself we shall see the success of ccm stand up stand up just wave your hand and rejoice you'll be glad my dear
be very very glad we have come is that we have come because I want you to be happy there are things God has done this night That's the, don't be don't be confused there are things God has done it shall be permanent it shall be permanent the word we have heard it shall be permanent the impartation we have received it shall be permanent the healing we have received it shall be permanent no matter the wind and the storms it will not make us to doubt because God is the source the God will sustain the miracles everything good God has done in this occasion in this program all the teaching the information the knowledge the inspiration oh Lord it shall be permanent we just want to wave our hand and bless your holy name you are loving god give him a name give god a name give him a good name call him one good sweet name he has done it all oh my god thank you for your you have done it good you have done us well that's what our worship song is saying that's what our melody is saying you have done us well you have done us good we can now retire to our blessings because we are convinced. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 That's what we are saying. That's all.